it's Warren with Zen Pro Audio. Welcome to Zen TV Weekly. It is the week of September the 26th. Well, Steinberg made some very cool announcements lately for some products that are upcoming, looks like around mid-October. First of all, a USB 2 series of interfaces from them. They've got two to choose from, a 19-inch version, as well as a smaller tabletop version. They call it the UR series. And the things that I've noticed about that are First of all, USB being more widely available and then being able to probably have more stable driver sets for that as well with more PCs out there to run just more fluidly. Um, it appears as though they're going to be using the same converters, but also especially the same preamp. They call it their D-Pre, which is their Darlington preamp design. You can go listen to that in the clip later now. I have to say that that MR816 style pre was one of the cleanest and clearest and punchiest of the you know, onboard preamps for these uh, devices. It really made us salute and say, man, they really did a good job of that. It really is a standout. So the UR series to me, very hopeful. The 19 inch version has got expandability for ADAT up to another 16 channels of IO. So tracking whole bands or expanding on that one interface really, really nice stuff, and is also the smaller device having dedicated monitor control, fewer ins and outs and things, but great for just the home recording enthusiast that's maybe just tracking a couple of sources at a time. Aside from that, Steinberg announced these really cool, they look so innovative to me, it's called the CMC series of controllers that connect by USB. These are Steinberg controllers that have been built to control Steinberg, specifically Cubase. There's six different models. You've got everything from like a full channel strip control to having uh, rotary encoders that line up perfectly like their EQs inside if you're mixing inside of the box, transport controls, and also faders that you're able to uh, track your finger along to make movements on the screens and write automation moves. Very cool stuff. The thing that I like about it is that you are able, for an average cost of about $1.99 a piece, to say, well, I need transport control, and I'd also like to have a touch-sensitive fader. You can go for that module. Or you can say, well, I need the channel strip and the transport. Or you could actually stack and make your whole, your own controller in front of you and just sort of make it the way that you want it to be. They're very low-key looking devices, and I appreciate that. It's like a black rubberized sort of surface, backlit with LED. I just think it's going to look very nice in the studio, but also exhibit total control in Cubase. So definitely worth checking out those products scheduled to come out around mid-October. Well, the Clipolator has grown again, CAD microphones. We did get the entire line uploaded into the Clipolator this past week. I encourage you to go check it out, as well as the Biodynamic MC930 was also tossed up in there. Um, this week, we are scheduled Fingers crossed by the end of this week to have the line of Shure microphones, things like their KSM series, including the ribbon microphones, added to the Clipolator. So we are really, really on the move trying to uh, bring more real info to you guys. We thank you for your support. And along those same lines, I got to say, it wasn't long ago that we told you we had broken 200 products in the Clipolator. Uh, this past week, we have actually broken over 250 fully tested items or referenced items in the Clipolator. So great information in there. Anyway, that's all the hot stuff I can think of this week at Zen Pro Audio. As always, you can click on contact us there on the site and I'll personally respond and get you taken care of. And keep in mind, we are working very hard around here to bring you gear now and Zen.